135 meters I've just zapped it at, which is about, it's a strong nine iron, but it's a nine iron, but it's uphill, but it's got the wind. Um, I think it's more sensible here to play a, a smoother eight with a bit of a cut. Wind's going that way as well. So if I aim at the middle of the green, um, see, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see this a bit better. Middle of the green, there's a bunker that's on this side here. Uh, out of focus on this side here, and then the flag over on the right hand side there. So I'm going to kind of start it in between those and uh, and get it to to move back either with a bit of cut or we're on the wind. But I don't want too much because it's not fun chipping from that side. I don't know whether it's in front or behind the pin. My suspicion is it's in front of it. That could be close. See, now it is really close. The pin was actually right on the front as well, so I'm uh, glad that ended up there. I think the way it was coming in, I think that is probably the pitch mark. There is another one here, but the angle it came in, I don't think that's it. So I think that's the pitch mark. May have took a hop forward and then spun back to there. So I've got oh, no more than six feet for birdie. Let's see if we can make it two in a row. I get upset about that I read a great putt I didn't hit it didn't get it to the hole so I should be frustrated with that but it was a good read it was just a poor putt so all in all three on this hole I'm normally quite pleased with walking away with three okay so on to 18 last hole par five goes from these yellow tees today that I'm playing the lake Runs out at about starts at about 230 meters there. It probably stops on the on the other edge of it about 250, and there's loads of room to the right hand side. However, I've got wind behind today, and by hitting driver, I bring all of that into play. Two iron starting at the pretty much to the right of the fountain, and then and then moving or moving away to the right. sitting pretty well it's just in the first cut but it's pretty as, as good as you're gonna get around here so first of all lie then I'm gonna look at the shot that I've got the angle that I need to come in so for here I'm trying to minimize risk as much as possible do I know that this tree here is around about a hundred meters from the flag I can't get there it's 270 something meters which you know I just can't get there even the wind behind I've got 150 meters to get past the what the furthest part of the water so I need a club that I can comfortably carry 170 meters or so so that does take a few out of the bag um, so I need to be hitting at least a six iron uh, even with this wind behind so if I hit a four yeah, I could probably squeeze a few extra, but uh, I've settled on five iron. So now I know the shot I want to hit. So I'm going to be looking to go at the middle of that big bunker on the right hand side. That also shortens the carry on the water a little bit and I'm aiming to get into the shadowy patch of the tree that's on the left hand side out in the middle of the fairway and that should leave me about a hundred in. So that's a lot of talk. Let's see if I can actually get in there and hit the shot I want. about perfect <clears throat> so as you see I didn't quite get it in the shaded area but I'm still pretty pleased with my shot in there 
I'm just going to see what I've got in it. So I've sat there at 88 metres. Got pretty strong wind behind, but it is uphill. Again, course knowledge, I know that I've got to land this past the flag and it will spin backwards because everything comes back down. And it's a lot better to be on that side than it is on the bunker on this side, particularly where the flag is where it is. So for 88 metres, I'm pretty much thinking that the, the lie or the, the slope and the wind are kind of equally in each other out. I'm going to hit the sand wedge. distance looks okay so if it grabbed hard that, that could be could be uh, in a useful spot so it ran on a little bit and you can hear and see with that flag how much the wind was affecting that so it actually went, we flew over 90 and uh and it's kind of stopped dead so i know this green slopes hideously so i'm just gonna have to leave it out on the high side It wasn't in any danger of going in, but that was a that was a pretty good effort. Hi guys, um, sorry, forgot to uh, finish up a recap actually after all that. So went pretty well, um, you know. Over the, over the back nine, I, I shot thirty seven. So if one of those putts had gone in on either uh, seventeen or eighteen, that would have been thirty six. So I know I didn't film the first uh, hole of that nine, the tenth, but I did birdie it. So. Um, yeah, pretty impressed uh, and I'm pretty pleased with how that went. So if you did like the video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Um, leave a comment below. Um, what did you think? I haven't been doing many videos lately, so this was actually quite nice. I enjoyed this. Um, it got me thinking about different things. I, I know I say this every time. I'll try. I'm not making any promises. See you next time.